So before I start this, I'm going to be really honest. I'm always honest with you guys. <laughs> I am not feeling good today. I'm just not feeling happy or chipper or any of that today. I've been in like a funk the past couple of days and I just kind of want to crawl into a ball and lay on my bed and do nothing except maybe cry and watch Netflix. That's kind of uh, what I want to do and I don't know why I'm in this funk. Um, I just feel kind of down. Uh, so I didn't really want to do this vlog today but I'm 28 weeks and I'm going to do this vlog anyway because one I want to you know, capture this pregnancy on video, and two, I love you guys, and <laughs> I haven't updated you guys, because I didn't do 27 weeks, so I'm going to do this one. Symptoms this week, lots and lots of breathlessness. I just feel like I cannot breathe, specifically today. She's so up in my ribs, I feel like I can't catch a breath. <laughs> I'm like, <gasps> like taking big deep breaths a lot, because I feel like I just can't get enough air, because she's so high. I don't remember the girl's being this high. I don't remember that. Maybe they were. I don't know. But Andy is like up in my ribs right now as we speak actually and I'm struggling to breathe and I'm struggling to get through this vlog because of it. So I apologize. My appetite is also being super weird. I go from wanting to eat everything in my kitchen, that's not an exaggeration, to having no appetite at all. I have eaten today one time and that was breakfast and it's like three o'clock right now and I'm just not hungry. I really don't know what that is. I just know my appetite has been super weird. As far as sciatic pain, I told you guys if you've been around this long in my first trimester that I would eventually tell you guys just how bad it eventually gets when I hit my third. And of course, I'm right. <laughs> and um, it's specifically this side, but um, it doesn't matter anymore where I sit, how I sit, it, it really doesn't matter. The most comfortable position though is to uh, sit with my legs tucked under me like this instead of like crisscross style. Uh, but it doesn't matter if I'm on the couch, if I'm on the floor. Oh, the floor is the worst, though. Uh, but I always get that pain back here in my nerve area, and it sometimes locks up, and it's just the worst pain. As far as sleep goes, I'm still dealing with insomnia, but now, like, on top of my insomnia, <laughs> I wake up four or five times in the middle of the night, probably more than that, to either pee or change position. Uh, sleep is now impossible without my pregnancy pillow, just impossible. I have to have it. So I'm so thankful Devin bought it, like, oh, I love you, honey, because I need that pillow right in between my legs in order to sleep every night or else my hips just hurt so bad. The headaches that I had in my first trimester have come back now. I'm starting to get like a daily headache right here in the front. It might be because of lack of sleep, probably, but they've come back and it's all always up in here and it's either dull, like really dull, or it's like a throbbing, I need some Tylenol headache. I try not to take Tylenol. I mean, it's not like a huge deal, but still, um, I try not to take it, but sometimes my head just kills me and I need it. In other news, I have my glucose test this week, so I'll get to drink that yummy sugar drink and they get to draw a bunch of blood. And I say a bunch because I'm RH negative, so it's not like they just, you know, do the sugar test. They also have to uh, check my blood so that they can give me a Rogam shot. And I also have an ultrasound coming up. It's going to be the week of Christmas because he wants it done at 30 weeks. They want to check my placenta abruption, the two clots that I have on each side from where I lost 10% of my placenta. They want to check that, make sure that it has either absorbed or not. If it hasn't absorbed back into my uterus and the blood's gone, uh, then I'm still at a risk for uh, preterm labor. I'm like a, at a higher risk. But if it's dissolved and gone, I'm at a l slightly lower risk. But I've lost 10% of my placenta. He said either way, you're still at a higher risk for going into preterm labor. It just depends on if the blood clots are there, how high. Does that make any sense? <laughs> That's what he told me. That's how he explained it to me. So uh, they'll also check that and get a confirmation that she is a girl because I haven't told you guys this yet, but uh, when they did the anatomy scan, they didn't get like a very good clear picture of her gender. They just said, well, we don't see anything sticking out, so we think that it's probably a girl. And I was like, well, at this point, you're probably right. So <laughs> I've had two girls already, so it's not like it's a far stretch of the imagination. So I just said, okay, it's a girl. Uh, but I want a confirmation. I want like them to double check and just make sure she's a girl. <laughs> We're buying all the right stuff. But 
they're probably right. To give you guys a weight update, because I don't really remember when I gave you an update last. I'm so sorry. I've been forgetting this. But um, my pre-pregnancy weight was 145, and this morning I was 174, so that puts me 29 pounds over pre-pregnancy. Okay, now I'm going to do my 28-week belly shot. So this is my 28-week belly. From the front, you can't really see much because it's black. Sorry. From this side. Back around. And this is with the shirt up. This front side. She's like so right there. Like she's all right there. I can feel her up here. I can feel her way down here. But she's still mostly high. She's not dropped yet. But she's... She's loving my ribs today. I feel like I can't breathe. This side. And I've never done a measurement before. What are we looking at? 48? No, wait, 46. I can't see anything. So what, 46 inches? Oh! Not exactly something I'm proud of, but... I'm pregnant. There's a baby in there. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. If you want to be on Baby Andy Watch, I have all the links to my social media down below so you can click on those. And I will see you tomorrow in a new vlog. Bye, guys.